Grenada is a Caribbean country in the West Indies, consisting of a main island and several small islands. Like other Caribbean countries, this country has its fair share of attractions to check out and a series of fun activities to keep you occupied during your stay here. Here are the top things to do in Grenada. Do stick around until the end as our number one will totally impress you. Number 11. Relax on Grand Ants Beach Of course, a beach experience is one thing you can always count on when visiting the Caribbean, and the Grand Ants Beach takes this experience to a whole new level. Located in Morne Rouge, this beach is the largest in the country. It is very popular for the white sand on the shore and the picturesque landscape surrounding its sparkling clean water. Here, you'll find many other tourists and locals relaxing on the beach or swimming in the calm waves. You can also indulge in several water activities here, like kayaking, snorkeling, and other beach sports. Number 10. Explore the Spice Gardens Once you get to Grenada, you will find that the country is not called the Spice Isle for no reason. In case you were wondering, the name is gotten from the variety of spices and herbs cultivated here, and you may want to check out a few of these spice gardens. In fact, a tour of the Spice Gardens is recommended as one of the top activities here in Grenada, and Laura's Spice Garden is the perfect place to start. Laura's Spice Garden at St. John is one of the most popular in the country, and it sure does live up to this reputation. It consists of a selection of mostly rare plants and spices, and a guided tour here will open your eyes to the uses of each one. This may not be your typical tourist attraction, but it is one you'll never regret visiting. Number 9. Take a trip to Hog Island. Hog Island is more or less like a hidden island on the south of Grenada, not too far away from the airport. It is not among the most popular islands in this region, so many tourists don't have it on their bucket lists. However, this secluded island is a great place to relax and unwind, and it's definitely worth visiting. The calmness of the island makes it the ideal getaway location for when you need a break from the busier cities. Thankfully, this quiet island is not always so quiet, especially on Sundays. And this is because large crowds often troop in on weekends to enjoy barbecue, drinks, and music at the weekly Rogers Barefoot Beach Bar Party. Surely, there is often a lot of fun at this party, so you may want to attend it too. Number 8. Scuba Diving in the Molinaire Underwater Sculpture Park Scuba diving is an almost inevitable activity in the Caribbean, thanks to the many impressive coral reefs available in the region. Well, if you are already hyped up about this activity, you will be even more excited when you discover that there's an underwater sculpture park here in Grenada. The Molinaire Underwater Sculpture Park was the first of its kind and is still a unique landmark in the capital city today. Plus, it has since been a major tourist attraction and a beacon for scuba divers worldwide. If you have your diving gear with you, then you are in for the time of your life exploring the collection of contemporary underwater art here. Number 7. Spend an afternoon at the Black Bay Beach Grenada, like most other Caribbean countries, has a lot of exotic beaches, but Black Bay Beach is a unique kind. Firstly, instead of the typical white sand found on beaches, Black Bay Beach features mysterious black sands. This black sand is a result of eroded volcanic materials like lava, basalt salt, and other dark-colored minerals. However, the beach is considered one of the most gorgeous in the Caribbean, attracting large crowds as a result. There's also a cave close to the bay that you can explore if you dare. The cave is somewhat mysterious as well, as it features wall markings left there by the Amerindians who were the earliest settlers here. Number 6. Explore the Grand Etang National Park As far as tourism is concerned in Grenada, the Grand Etang National Park is one of the most important and popular destinations. It is part of the larger Grand Etang Forest Reserve, and it is very much worth visiting. The reserve is a protected region in the country because of its namesake lake within its axis. The lake is located in an extinct volcano, which was partly responsible for the island's formation. This national park sits at an ascent of about 2,000 feet and features nearly 1,000 acres of lush vegetation and mountainous terrain. Besides the Grand Etang Lake, the national park also protects a wide range of flora and fauna. Some of the animals found here include the Lesser Antillean Tanager, the Mona Monkey, and the Broad-Winged Hawk, among others. You will likely find some of these animals on the way as you hike to the lake. By the way, if you want to learn how to save money on airfares, then click the link in the description below. This guide teaches you how to always get the cheapest flights. Number 5. Go Shopping at St. George's Market Square 
The Market Square at St. George is the largest and busiest of all the markets in the country, and it is very much worth visiting. As a tourist, the market is where you will see how the locals trade and interact. Plus, there are different factions in this market majoring in different commodities like spices, food and ingredients, handcrafted goods, and many more. You can also get in on the activities by buying a few items for yourself. After all, the handcrafted goods make the perfect souvenirs to take home after your tour of this island country. Number 4. Marvel at the Incredible Mount Carmel Falls The Royal Mount Carmel Waterfall is one you'll find on almost every Grenada tour guide, and that's just how popular the attraction is. It is also the highest waterfall in the country. This tourist favorite consists of two falls, each cascading from a jaw-dropping height of more than 69 feet and emptying into the crystal pool below. Also, the hike to the waterfall is not very difficult, and you'll find the waterfall to be worth every single step. Number 3. Learn History at the National Museum The Grenada National Museum is a must-visit destination in the country for many obvious reasons, and it often attracts large crowds. Established in 1976, the museum is situated in the capital city, which is easily accessible to tourists. As expected, the museum is a history hub where you can learn everything you need to know about this island country. It also features thousands of artifacts arranged in different sections that include slavery, inhabitants, economy, fishing archaeology, transport, and technology. Without a doubt, you will find your tour of this museum to be both enlightening and enjoyable, and it will make your tour of other attractions a lot more meaningful. But first, you may need a tour guide to show you around and give you an in-depth analysis of each artifact here. Number 2. See the Natural Paradise at La Suggest Nature Center La Suggest is a nature center on the island, and it is a place where you can view nature at its very finest. This nature center is situated along a private estuary, and it used to be a plantation. However, it has now become a must-see attraction for nature lovers who often can't help but fall in love with the natural beauty here. The nature center features a remarkably astonishing landscape, a serene beach, and several hiking trails. However, many tourists who come here often look forward to the bird-watching experience, as La Suggest has been identified as the best bird-watching spot on the island. Here, you'll find several species of birds, including rare breeds like the Caribbean coot, the northern jacana, and the green-black heron. Just be sure to come with your binoculars, and you can rest assured of an exciting bird-watching experience. Number 1. Attend a Grenada Festival If you are a fan of parades, then you are in luck, because there is almost always a festival to attend in this island country. Of course, these festivals are famous for the parade, the beautiful and colorful costumes on display, and a host of other activities they feature. Some of the most famous festivals here are the Sailing Festival, the Independent Day Festival, the Music Festival, and the Spice Moss Festival. If your visit falls around the period of any of these, you can rest assured a fun time out on the streets. Undoubtedly, this is an experience you do not want to miss out on. Click here for more places to visit in the Caribbean.